Hi everyone, this is Ali. Welcome to the demo video of Recovery Zone by Bit Trading Bot with Python Django and Trading View Alerts in Heroku, AWS, or Ubuntu server. So, in this specific video, I'll be showing you guys uh, a strategy I have implemented in uh, with Bybit Testnet. Uh, and this uh, uh, strategy is actually available in my uh, on my Upwork portfolio uh, and this is also available as a project as a dashboard project on my Upwork and uh, yeah I wanted to show you uh, I wanted to record a demo so a lot of clients were asking me uh, about this strategy that how it works and what uh, uh, and the detailed documentation of this strategy so yeah let's just start it so for this specific example i'll be running this uh, locally on my uh, laptop uh, but uh, it is an auto deployable strategy to heroku ubuntu or aws uh, either linux or window instance windows instance okay so let's just uh, get started uh, this is my youtube channel uh, if you want to subscribe and uh, uh, want to get updated uh, on a demo on demo videos where that I upload I also work on uh, selenium automations and uh, other business task automation so if you're interested uh, just subscribe to my youtube channel so yeah thanks so let me show you the detailed documentation first or oh, how the strategy works and uh, oh, why it's named as the curry zone so let's jump into it okay so this is uh, the detailed documentation of the strategy which is called recovery zone okay so here as you can see these are the parameters and inputs okay so basically uh, this uh, strategy is was triggered by trading view alerts so we will set uh, in, in trading view you must have a strategy or some kind of indicator or something which triggers alerts and then it sends uh, those alerts to the this Django app which will be deployed to either Heroku, Ubuntu or AWS server uh, yeah so these are the parameters I can't read all uh, because the video will be so lengthy after that so I just yeah you can see it here I can send you the detailed documentation or anything you want okay so everything is self-explanatory here uh, yeah we are setting uh, take profit and stop loss okay for exchange we are using buy bit uh, we can use uh, Binance futures or uh, FTX or any exchanges easily integratable if you if you have any specific requirements or anything yeah so you can also change uh, uh, we can also change parameters or anything inputs uh, that you want so after this doc document i will be showing you a little bit of source code uh, okay of the strategy uh the main source code which runs the strategy actually yeah uh, or maybe the uh, Jen web uh, source code uh, okay so yeah these are the documentation and these are the formulas uh for setting up so this is actually the base order the base trade that we are setting in this uh, we can set uh, as much trades as uh, the support trades as possible but the base trade trade will be triggered by the trading view alert okay and the uh, next uh, uh, three trades consecutive tra trades will be set according to these parameters like the second trade will be set 1.55 times to the base trade of the base trade and the second one will be set uh, in the opposite direction uh, if the trade uh, went uh, in unexpected conditions okay with the market goes in unexpected, unexpected conditions then uh, we will set the trade like uh, with this parameter and the third trade will be set with this 1.5 times the base trade okay and these are the this is the take profit and this is the stop loss okay yeah uh, so these are these are the formulas uh, i have i also uh, have an exit sheet for these formulas uh, if you are confused about these uh, 
uh, this is just self-explanatory but uh, it's not mandatory because all the things have been included in the bot and everything is pre-calculated in the strategy i have converted these formulas to python equations yeah so the bot is actually are to calculating everything uh this is actually the uh the for the recovery zone uh strategy okay so this is the for example if you are placing the first base order uh, is a long order so first we'll place here okay we buy one unit and then uh, okay and then the market if if the market goes down uh, which is unexpected in unexpected uh condition unexpected way so we will set the first supporting trade or you can say the first recovery trade uh, in this recovery zone okay this is the recovery zone actually from this green to this red this is the recovery zone with this 1.5 times the base trade and if the market goes uh if the market goes down okay further so this trade will be uh ended in profit okay but if the markets go up goes up so we will set another a second supporting trade with 0 0.9 times the base trade and has the the fourth trade so these uh, trades are actually possible uh, with two ways one that you uh one that the strategy can decide at the start of the base trade that what should be the values of the two three or four trades and uh, second thing is that uh, the strategy can actually uh, set the trades at the time of placing this trade the second trade and third trade and the fourth trade trade so this is uh, possible in the two ways but the first way is most recommended because uh, uh, yeah mm, this the trades will be set according to the recovery zone okay where the trade will be placed so if the market touches these points two three four so all the trades will be placed which will be which will be a preset uh, after placing the base trade so this is the take profit okay the first trade take profit okay if, if it's if it didn't reach and the market goes down okay the second trade will be triggered here okay with the short position and uh, yeah so uh, it will this this will be the stop loss of the first trade okay so if it hits here the first trade will be exited from the market and this is the second trade okay stop loss if it hits here it will okay i think i don't need uh, to explain this all because uh, it will take for the time i don't want the video to be too long so it's just a demo video i can give a further explanation or something uh, which you need to uh, need on this strategy strategy i will uh, not recommend this as a uh, profitable okay uh, because it will be something like a financial advice or something it's not a financial advice or something but i can say that if you are good at funds because the strategy if uh, you can also extend the uh, number of trades supporting trades but that would require a lot of uh, capital okay uh, because yeah you can say you can estimate your capital if you place the base trade with for example 20 bucks so and this one will be uh, this times and this times etc okay so yeah and uh, this is actually not fully tested but i can show you its test uh, in another document yeah or maybe uh, yeah so this one is uh, actually yeah this is the test documentation that i have pulled the screenshots of this is the web application running okay um i had uh, deployed this to heroku uh, for testing and i also tested for a client and it, uh, the test was pretty successful these are the tests actually test results uh, from uh, by bit testnet okay so it was tested back in july so i'm just uh, recording this demo for now because a lot of clients are asking for this demo and uh, yeah let me see okay i will just skip this now and i will just show you the source code and uh, yeah yeah so this is the main application which uh, triggers okay i will not be able to show you the whole source code but this is the main application which triggers 
the first base trade okay this is the base trade which triggers uh, uh, which is being triggered by the trading view alert okay when you deploy it to a uh, Heroku or Ubuntu or AWS server uh, for AWS or Ubuntu you need uh, uh, Gunicorn as uh, or I don't know how to spell it Gunicorn or Gunicorn or with NJ, NJX uh, as a web server okay as a proxy server so yeah so this is the application you can set okay let me also show you this is the settings.json file it's actually yeah so uh, you can set your keys uh, api keys in the settings.json file and by the way uh, these api keys are for testnet pybit account but these are already expired or yeah these are you can see these are dummy keys so you can replace your own keys and everything okay here will be the pairs do you wanna you you want to uh, trade with and these are the parameters okay and uh, uh, yeah in every single part of mine that I develop actually I also integrate uh, telegram alerts so here is the uh, here you can place your uh, telegram bot token and here is your chat ID so you can get notifications when a trade is being placed or it has been placed or executed or exited or something like that okay or anything so every single event will be pushed as a location to your uh, telegram uh, chatbot as you can see it was tested back in july so this is actually the this is actually the application running on my local uh, pc okay but this was actually deployed to Heroku and being tested there uh, has been tested there and uh, the test result uh, was in that uh, uh, MS Word file uh, we can execute this on Bybit or it connect to any other exchange so any other exchange is actually easily integratable with this uh, bot and with this Django application okay in uh, Another video, uh, I will be showing you another strategy which is related to three commas smart trades API. Okay, and uh, this strategy actually works in hedge mode, and that is actually the next strategy that's, and that I'm going to explain. Uh, I'm going to show you the demo uh, is actually uh, also for Binance hedge mode in three commas. Okay, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, see you in next video. Bye.